right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to bring images into TorchMain software, whether that be from somebody sending you a PDF or DXF or whatnot, or you are finding an image online and trying to put it into this software. So first, I'm going to show you how to bring an image in that you may have found on the internet. When you go to File, Acquire Image, Scan and Trace, you'll hit Next. Now, let's say you're in my class and you wanted to make a manifold for your exhaust for your mini bike or something like that. We'll just take your exhaust gasket and scan it in once we plug in the scanner to your laptop. Uh, and then it'll scan that, that in to scale. But since we're just going to be bringing something from the internet over that we've already saved, we're gonna browse the computer. Hit next, click these three dots to look through your computer. Now I've gone through and downloaded some stuff here. You can download them as JPEGs, or a PDF, I'll show you how to bring in a PDF item. Like some, I've had some people send me their logos, just like this is our logo, and they send it as a PDF and you can still bring that in. But for now, I'm just showing you how to bring in a JPEG file. And if you were to go on the internet and download an image, let's say the Broncos logo, you would right click and then save image as. These are JPEG files. If you download a PNG file, you would need to convert that first to a JPEG. It, you can't do this scan and trace wizard with a PNG. And you can find converters on the internet. Just type in PNG to JPEG and, and there'll be a website. Now that we've found our image, we're gonna hit next. And it's gonna bring up this preview image page you have to adjust the white threshold before it's gonna let you click next. You can see how next, I, no matter if I click it or not, it's go, not going to let us bring the image over. It has to be adjusted on this white threshold. Now you'll see as soon as I click this, it changes to black and white. Then you can slide this guy to the left or right, whichever way, and this will allow you to kind of fine tune, adjust, to get this thing to be as close to original image as possible. I'm gonna bring it around here so that these black, you know, the inside of these black flares are gone. And I'm going to hit next. Now on your trace settings, there are a handful of different ways you can scan this. The best one I've found is the logo complex with detail. It's already got all these different parameters set here. I mean, once you get better at it, you could go in and, and mess with these. But for now, I would just leave it at whatever logo complex with detail has. I'm going to hit next, then apply. What that does is that went in and made a line for every one of our images lines, right? But it did scan through some lines and, and they, they did come through pretty crisp and clean. Uh, some of your images you download, depending on its size, it may come in really p pixelated and jagged. Uh, you, you really want to try to find the largest image possible to scan into TorchMate software. Once you've scanned it, you're going to come up here to this AccuTrace little window and hit finish. Now that is one way to bring it in. Now if I bring this over here, you can still bring in PNG files. So let's say this image I just scanned and traced with the scan and trace wizard. Let's say that was a PNG. Instead, I'm going to hit import. I'm going to click the same image, hit import, and click somewhere on the screen. Now that brings in the actual image to the software. And to change this into a line format, because it 
we can't make any toolpaths off this. It's just a, a picture in there. We're going to double left click on this image. What that does, that brings up this, this window. It's basically like the scan and trace windows, but we're going to hover over this little diamond and it says vectorization. We're gonna click that and that goes through and, and does what we did in the scan and trace wizard. Only difference being we couldn't adjust the white threshold. You can see that all this is left black. Unlike the scan and trace, we were able to adjust it to where we would like it to be. Then we hit close. And you can see when I come in and click again, I can separate that and we'll delete that. But now you can see that it brought in most of the detail, it still it missed some stuff on the helmet that the scan and trace wizard actually was able to pick up. So there, that's a good way to show the difference. And sometimes it does actually pull through really, really well. Now I'm gonna show you how to bring in a PDF image. And it's the same way as this PNG file. So we're gonna go file, import, we're going to click the PDF file, or this could be a DXF file. We're going to click that, hit import, and we've just got to pick somewhere on the screen, and it's going to bring up this PDF import options, and it'll do this sometimes with DXF items. And we're going to import the text as graphics, and that's all we're going to change on this. We're going to hit OK. Now, if we scroll in on this, it's actually brought in the shade lines. If I do a show fill on here, it actually will show the color of the image. It won't always do this with PDF stuff, but we've got all the lines in here that are a part of the actual logo, right? Now that is three different ways that you can bring images in from the internet or PDF or what have you. After you've brought in an image, if you need to adjust it or edit it, like get rid of any of these excess pieces or change some lines or move some lines, you have to do something before it will allow you to do that. So right now, no matter where you click on this image, it highlights everything. And if you were to go in and try to double left click, to edit that image, it is not going to let you. It's going to bring out all these different uh, polygon shapes as far as what's left or shown on that image. So if you want to edit any part of this that you've scanned in, let's move this over here. Slice it down. If you want to edit any of these pieces of whatever image you are bringing in, you've got to click or highlight the image and then come up to arrange and break path. Now, when you come in, each one of these little squiggles or if you wanted to adjust the line of any part of it, you're now able to go in and edit those and delete those. And remember, if you double left click, that brings up the nodes of this and you can change or move any of those items. If you screw up, you can hit control Z and it will bring everything back. To get out of this menu, you got to hit apply. And you can delete items like these excess little pieces now by just hitting delete on your keyboard. Right, you can highlight a few at a time and delete. And that's how you would edit an image that you just pulled in from the internet.